Hey guys, it's Dennis and it's time for another Google My Business video. Right now, I'm gonna show you a hack that will help rank your Google My Business listing. This is the hack that will help you get ranking on Google, but more importantly, it will help you get phone calls consistently every single day if you just watch this video. And it's one of the strategies that I personally use to help my businesses rank on Google and to help me get those consistent phone calls day by day. This hack will help your business explode with new customers that actually want to buy what you're selling if you smash that like button right now. So let's jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this hack. So the hack that I'm talking about is called schema. Basically schema is structured data and Google uses it to better understand what your business and your website is about. So the way that Google uh, talks about structured data is that basically Google uses it to understand the context of the page, right? So example, uh, on a recipe page, what the ingredients, what the cooking time and the temperature are. So in terms of a business, schema is really helpful to be able to identify the phone number, the type of business it is, and the website, et cetera. So this is something that Google uses to help it understand what your business is about. When Google understands what your business is about, it ranks higher because Google has more information, AKA trust about your business. So right now I'm going to show you how to create a JSON LD structured data file, basically a schema file that you just put into your website as a snippet code of HTML. And that's going to be inside of your header or footer tagging on your website. And then once that is published, Google uh, is going to be able to crawl the website and is going to be is going to be identifying your website with schema, which is going to help understand the context of your business just a little bit better, which is going to help your rank in turn. Go ahead and just hop on on Google and type in schema generator. Once you type that in, I like to use a website called uh, jamesdflynn.com, JSON LD schema markup generator. Go ahead and press on that. And right now I'm gonna show you how to fill out this JSON LD schema. So go ahead and if you're a local business, go ahead and just press local business. And there's a couple points here that you need to note of. Um, there's different categories for schema. Try to get as close as possible to your category. For example, right now I'm going to be filling out a, um, I'm going to be filling out information for a life insurance company. Now, unfortunately, there's no life insurance company inside of the schema category selection. So what you want to do is you want to get as close as possible. So in this case, under financial IC insurance agency, this is what we're going to use. If you do not have a specific business type that is listed within the category section, there's a general section called local business or business inside of these categories. For example, professional service that you can use if you're not able to find your um, business category on here. All right, so for now, I'm just going to press insurance agency as I'm doing a life insurance business setup. So I'm gonna fill out the name, the URL, now, this button right here is very important. Go ahead and press add same as, and go ahead and press it a couple more times. So what you wanna do here is add a social profile of the business inside the same as URL. So what I do is, uh, for the first one, I'm gonna be doing Facebook uh, forward slash as per life insurance. Uh, the next one I'm gonna be doing Twitter as per life. And I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to do these two. Please fill out as much of the social pro profiles as you have. And if you don't have any, go ahead and make as many as you can and fill them out and add a few same as is. All right. This is very important. This is going to help Google understand and tie in more relevant context about your business, which is very important to help your rank. Uh, in terms of logo URL, go ahead and, and put a URL that you want to use, uh, for your business, what I usually do is I go over to my website, sperlife.com, and you just take the URL and you press open image and new tab and go ahead and just copy this URL right here. Copy the URL, paste that into the logo section, 
boom there we go now go ahead and, and add a few more urls of your business images so for example i'm going to go back to the website let's say i want to add this one again open image in a new tab take the url up top go ahead and just copy it put that right in that box and you're set for the description i do recommend filling this out uh, for with about uh, with a few words of context maybe 100 to 200 words of context address go ahead and fill that out as well and make sure the address is exactly how it is on google so if i if i go on google and type in as per life insurance and i see that the address is 1700 eureka road um it doesn't say sweet it says number 170 roseville california 95661 i want to do the exact same thing that is on google just to have more relevancy so i'm going to put a number 170 instead of suite 170 or unit 170. city is going to be roseville california 95661 country united states Okay, in terms of the latitude and longitude, this is very important, so go ahead and uh, please fill that out. What you wanna do is you wanna find your business on Google. Go ahead and just open it inside of Maps. Once you have your business listing like this inside of Maps, up top in the URL, there's going to be geo coordinates. What you wanna do is you just wanna copy them and paste them inside the website. Latitude, longitude, Boom, now you're set. The next step is you wanna include a map. This is again, another important step. Go ahead and just go back to your business listing within Google Maps, press share, and just copy this link. This is short link. Just paste it inside of here. Uh, select the business hours. Again, wanna fill everything out. When you're filling out the business hours, make sure that you list the same exact hours as you list on Google. This is again going to create more relevancy. And make sure you put in a business telephone number at the end here. All right. In terms of contact type, you could just put in a put in phone for the contact type. Once you have everything filled out, uh, including the description, which I do not have, but please fill it out press you can see that this um that the form is generated right over here to the right so i'm just going to put in a, a, a fake description but you want to actually fill this out now you want to fill out a better description more more information about your business but i'm going to just keep it like this for now and what you want to do is now just copy this snippet of code. All right, once you copy the code, the next thing that you want to do is you want to head over to Google Structured Data Testing. The way you can do that is just go to Google Structured Data, uh, Google, Google, Google Structured Data. Go ahead and just press the first link. That's going to pop a, uh, a tester uh, box here. Go ahead and just press code snippet paste the code inside and press run test. All right, so we can see that uh, this tool shows us any errors that might be inside of our code. So in this case, it says the value phone must be a valid contact type. So I believe I did not enter the valid contact type. So I'm just going to be I'm just going to remove that for now. There we go. So for some reason, it was give, giving me an error with contact type. If it gives you an error, uh, you could do more research on it. Uh, but in this case, I just removed it and it's looking fine. So what are we looking at? Over to our right, we can see that uh, we want to review all of this information and make sure it's correct. At the bottom here, uh, for some reason, it's showing a price field. Go ahead and just ignore that for now. Um, Unless you are, let's say, a restaurant, then you could include a price field with the general general uh, price range of your food. But again, go ahead and do more research on that. 
So once you run your schema through this uh, structured data tool, go ahead and, and just copy it. And now what you want to do is if you have a WordPress website, you're just going to log into your WordPress website and you're going to paste the schema into a header or footer bar. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Once you're inside of your WordPress dashboard, go ahead and go over to the plugins area and you want to download and install a plugin called header footer code manager. All right. Once you installed and activated the plugin, it's going to appear over on your left sidebar as HFCM. Go ahead and just press that. And you just want to add a new snippet on the top. Press add new snippet. Um, put this as schema display site wide. You don't exclude any pages, location header and go ahead and set it and press save that is all so once you head over to your website you should be able to inspect the source code and see that the schema is inside of here inspect page source view page source and let's see let's try to find this schema let's see where the full schema file is and here we go this is our schema file right there so again, this is structured data information uh, that Google is able to use to better figure out what your business is about and to better understand your business. With this information, Google is going to rank you much higher. And this is the hack that you can use to help you rank your Google My Business listings. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.